Have you ever swallowed your daily vitamin, thinking it's protecting your bones, your heart, and your health, only to wonder, what if this pill is slowly harming me instead? Across my 65 years of practice, I've met countless seniors who believed they were doing the right thing by taking vitamin D3, vitamin K2, and magnesium. And while these nutrients can save lives, the wrong balance, the wrong timing, or the wrong combinations can actually backfire. Welcome back to the Senior Wellness Podcast, where every episode is about staying strong, independent, and sharp as you age. Stay until the end to make sure you get all the information you need. I'm Dr. Shigeki Hinohara, Japan's oldest doctor. With over six decades of medical practice, I've helped millions of seniors reclaim their health, one small change at a time. And today, I want to take you on a journey that starts with confusion and doubt about these three supplements, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, and magnesium, and ends with clarity on whether they are truly life-saving or quietly harming you. So let me ask you, have you ever taken a pill in the morning and wondered, is this helping my bones or is it clogging my arteries? By the end of this episode, you'll know the surprising truth and how to take control of your health with confidence. Let's start at point A, where most seniors are right now. They've heard vitamin D3 is important, so they buy a bottle and take one pill a day. They've read somewhere about magnesium, so they grab a supplement from the pharmacy shelf. And then, maybe after watching a health video, they order vitamin K2 online. Three bottles, three labels, three hopes for better health. But here's the problem. Almost no one understands how these nutrients work together, or against each other. Think of your body like a construction site. Vitamin D3 is the supervisor who makes sure enough bricks, calcium, arrive at the job. Without D3, your intestines absorb only a fraction of the calcium you eat. Add D3 and suddenly more bricks arrive. But here's the mistake. If all you do is pile bricks on the ground, you don't get a house. You get a dangerous mess. That's where vitamin K2 comes in. K2 is like the foreman directing the bricks to the walls, telling calcium, go into the bones where you belong, not the arteries or kidneys. Without K2, extra calcium from D3 can get lost in the wrong places, leading to brittle vessels instead of strong bones. And magnesium, that's the builder's tool belt. It activates the enzymes that make D3 and K2 actually work. Without magnesium, the supervisor and the foreman can't do their jobs. Here's what shocked me after 65 years of practice. I've seen patients faithfully take D3 for years, only to come back with kidney stones or calcified arteries. They thought they were protecting themselves. In reality, they were slowly creating problems. Take Akiko, a 70-year-old woman who came to see me after suffering a sudden fracture in her hip. She had been taking high doses of vitamin D3 for nearly five years, believing it was her shield against osteoporosis. But when we tested her blood, her calcium levels were high in circulation, not in her bones. Worse, her arteries showed early calcification. No one had told her that D3 without K2 is like sending bricks to a site with no walls. They ended up in all the wrong places. After carefully adding vitamin K2 and magnesium to her routine, balancing her levels and lowering her D3 dose, Akiko's next scan revealed not only improved bone density, but also healthier blood vessels. Her words to me were unforgettable. Doctor, I thought my vitamins were saving me, but now I see they were almost my undoing. If you've ever felt unsure about whether your daily supplements are helping or harming, you're not alone. Most seniors are in the same boat, trying their best, but missing the hidden connections. But wait, there's something even more important. Most people think more vitamin D is always better. Yet in reality, too much D3 without balance is one of the most dangerous mistakes you can make. Let me explain why. Here's what most doctors don't explain. Vitamin D3 is essential, yes, but in high doses it can quietly turn from friend to foe. Think of it like sunshine, a little warms and heals, too much burns and scars. When D3 levels rise too high without balance, the body begins pulling in more calcium than it can handle. 
that calcium floats through your blood like tiny shards of glass. Instead of protecting your bones, it can harden your arteries, raise blood pressure, and even damage your kidneys. I once met Henry, a 73-year-old engineer who prided himself on his discipline. Every morning he lined up his supplements like soldiers, one of them being a very high-dose vitamin D3 capsule he ordered online. For years he told me, Doctor, I haven't missed a day. And yet, Henry came into my office with chest pain and shortness of breath. His scans showed severe calcification in his arteries. The very vitamin he trusted had quietly loaded his bloodstream with calcium while his bones remained fragile. Why does this happen? Because vitamin D3 without its partners is like turning on a faucet with no pipes. The water gushes, but it has nowhere to go. And the more you turn the faucet, the more flooding you cause. Now, you may wonder, why don't doctors warn us more? The truth is, most doctors see vitamin D as safe, especially in moderate doses. But what they miss is that seniors metabolize nutrients differently. What might be safe for a younger adult can be risky for someone over 65. Kidneys slow down, absorption changes, and years of silent calcium buildup can suddenly tip the balance. If you've ever thought, if one pill is good, two must be better, let Henry's story be your warning. More is not better, balance is better. But here's the hopeful part. When D3 is combined with the right amounts of K2 and magnesium, the story changes. The shards of glass become bricks again, placed carefully into bone. The arteries relax, the kidneys are spared, and the very vitamin that once caused harm becomes a true healer. The question then is this. How do you know the right balance for you? And how do you avoid the trap of blind supplementation? Let me share what shocked me most after six decades of treating seniors and how one overlooked mineral can make or break your bone health. Here's what shocked me after 65 years of practice. More than half of the seniors I've treated were low in magnesium and almost none of them knew it. They were taking calcium. They were taking vitamin D3. Some even discovered K2. But without magnesium, all of those efforts were like trying to build a house without nails. The structure simply couldn't hold together. Magnesium is the quiet hero. It activates over 300 enzymes in the body, many of them essential for bone strength, muscle relaxation, and heart rhythm. But most importantly here, magnesium makes vitamin D3 usable. Without enough magnesium, D3 sits in your body like an unopened toolbox, full of potential but useless. Let me give you a picture. Imagine trying to drive a car without spark plugs. You can fill the tank with gas, you can press the pedal, but the engine won't fire. Magnesium is the spark plug that ignites vitamin D3 and K2 into action. Take the story of Eileen, a 76-year-old widow who came to me complaining of restless nights and constant leg cramps. She was taking her calcium and D3 faithfully, yet still felt weak and exhausted. Tests showed her magnesium was very low, something most standard blood work barely detects. We added more magnesium-rich foods like pumpkin seeds, almonds, and leafy greens, and paired them with a small supplement. Within weeks, her cramps eased, her sleep improved, and her follow-up bone scan showed progress. She smiled and said, Doctor, I thought my bones were doomed, but it turns out they just needed their missing spark. Another patient, Robert, age 80, had been diagnosed with arrhythmia. He was frightened every time his heart skipped. When we checked, his magnesium was far below optimal. After steady dietary changes and supplementation, not only did his heart stabilize, but his bones strengthened too. He told me, I never thought one mineral could change so much. Here's what most doctors miss. The foods richest in magnesium are often the ones seniors eat less of. Nuts, seeds, whole grains, beans and dark greens can be harder to chew, digest or prepare. And modern soil depletion makes it even worse. Vegetables today may carry less magnesium than they did 50 years ago. So what's the lesson? Tip number three is this. Never take D3 or K2 without magnesium. If D3 is the light switch and K2 is the wiring, magnesium is the electricity that makes the whole system work. Without it, nothing turns on. But wait, there's something even more important. Getting these nutrients in balance isn't only about bones. 
It's about preventing the silent buildup of calcium in your arteries, kidneys, and even your brain. And one of my patients learned this lesson in the most frightening way possible. If you've ever worried about breaking a bone, let me tell you what most doctors miss. The real danger isn't just weak bones. It's calcium ending up where it doesn't belong. This process is called calcification, and I've seen it steal health from seniors who thought they were doing everything right. Think of calcium like cement. In the right place, your bones, it makes you strong. But when cement hardens in the wrong places, your arteries, your kidneys, even the valves of your heart, it becomes deadly. It narrows blood flow, stiffens your vessels, and raises the risk of stroke, heart attack, or kidney stones. I once treated a man named Charles, 78 years old, who came in with severe fatigue and shortness of breath. His family thought he simply needed more rest, but scans revealed heavy calcium buildup in his arteries. When I asked about his habits, he proudly said, Doctor, I never miss my calcium and vitamin D pills. He believed he was saving his bones. In reality, he was slowly cementing his arteries shut. The turning point came when we adjusted his supplements. Instead of piling on more calcium and D3, we carefully added vitamin K2 and magnesium to redirect calcium into his bones. Within months, his scans stabilized and his energy began to return. Charles later told me, I thought I was digging my grave with good intentions. Thank you for showing me the map out. If you've ever taken your daily vitamins with pride, thinking you're one step ahead, I want you to pause. Ask yourself, are these nutrients working together or are they working against me? Because without balance, calcium is not your friend. It is your silent thief, robbing health where you least expect it. But here's the hopeful truth. With the right balance of D3, K2 and magnesium, your body becomes intelligent again. Calcium knows where to go. Bones become stronger. Arteries remain flexible. Kidneys are protected. And the very supplements that once carried risk transform into life-saving allies. And that brings us to the question seniors ask me most. Doctor, how do I know if I'm taking the right amounts? The answer lies not only in the dose, but in how you live each day. Let me share how a few small lifestyle changes can unlock the full power of these three nutrients. Here's what shocked me most after decades of practice. The difference between seniors who thrive on supplements and those who struggle isn't just the pill, it's the lifestyle surrounding it. You can't out-supplement poor habits, but when nutrition, movement and balance all align, even fragile bones and arteries begin to recover. Let's start with diet. Imagine your body as a symphony. Supplements are the instruments, but food is the sheet music. Without food, the music doesn't make sense. Vitamin D3 is boosted when you eat fatty fish like salmon or mackerel, or when you spend 10 to 15 minutes in gentle sunlight. Vitamin K2 hides in fermented foods like natto, certain cheeses, and even egg yolks. Magnesium can be found in pumpkin seeds, almonds, spinach, beans, and whole grains. When you combine food sources with supplements, the results are stronger and more stable than pills alone. Then there's movement. Exercise isn't only about muscles. It pushes nutrients into your bones and tissues through circulation. Walking outdoors in sunlight, gardening, or even Tai Chi can combine vitamin D activation, circulation improvement, and bone stress in one activity. Think of it as three victories with one habit. I remember Keiko, a 71-year-old, who came to me after her daughter insisted she get checked for osteoporosis. She was already taking D3 and calcium, but felt no stronger. Instead of increasing her pills, we focused on lifestyle. She spent 15 minutes in morning sunlight each day, added leafy greens and a handful of nuts to her meals, and started practicing gentle chair yoga. Over time, her bone density improved, but more importantly, her energy soared. She told me, Doctor, I don't just feel alive. I feel safe in my own body again. Here's what most doctors miss. Supplements without lifestyle are like seeds thrown on concrete. Nothing grows, but combine them with food, sunlight and movement, and suddenly you have fertile soil. So what's the safe way to integrate these nutrients? For most seniors, moderate doses of D3 are safe. 
Never megadosing unless under medical supervision. Always pair D3 with K2 to keep calcium in the right place. Add magnesium daily, either through diet or supplements, to keep the system switched on. And remember, more is not better, balance is better. If you've ever felt lost staring at rows of bottles in the pharmacy, take a breath. You don't need everything. You need the right things, in the right balance, lived out daily. But wait, before we close, I want to take you to point Z, the resolution of our journey. Because the biggest mistake isn't about what you take, it's about forgetting why you take it. Let's finish with hope, with clarity, and with the reminder that your body, even after 60, is never beyond healing. We began today at point A, where confusion ruled. Bottles of D3, K2 and magnesium sat on kitchen counters, swallowed with hope but shadowed by fear. Were they protecting you or slowly harming you? That uncertainty is heavy, especially when your independence and future are at stake. Now we arrive at point Z. You've seen the truth. Vitamin D3 is not dangerous when balanced. Vitamin K2 is not obscure. It is essential. Magnesium is not optional. It is the spark that makes the system work. Together, they form a triangle of protection, guiding calcium into your bones, keeping it out of your arteries, and strengthening your body from the inside out. If you've ever felt fragile, like your body is betraying you, I want you to hear this clearly. Your body is still alive. It still listens. It still responds. Even in your 70s, 80s or beyond, balance can rebuild what time has taken. Your bones are not doomed to crumble. Your heart is not destined to harden. Your health is not written in stone. I think of my patient Emiko, who once came to me with fear in her eyes after years of swallowing supplements without change. Today, after balancing her D3, K2 and magnesium, she walks confidently with her grandchildren in the park. She told me, Doctor, I feel like my body finally understands what I've been asking it to do. That transformation isn't rare. It's possible for anyone who learns the balance. So, let me leave you with this. Never let confusion keep you from action. Never assume more is better. And never forget that the smallest, smartest changes, 15 minutes in the sun, a handful of greens, the right supplement combination, can tilt the balance towards strength and away from decline. Like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Together, we're building a community where seniors don't just survive, they thrive. Stay strong, stay aware. We'll see you in the next one.